Good morning everybody, my own Buntag, Mana Higala. So rainy season's supposed to be over, it looks like it's hanging on for a little bit longer. My friend behind me, the praying mantis, is having a good time. It's <laughs> 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 So good thing, yeah, Carmel. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jane just ordered some different food. I'll let her explain what it is, how much it was. Here's my order from Carmel. Some big chef. Uh, this is fresh lumpia. And I'll show you in the inside. Okay. Oh, uh, it's raining. It's horrible weather. It's still rainy season, just about. Oh, let's just get out of this way then. Get the sandals on. Of course, mate. Okay. So there's the fresh lumpia. Yeah, this is a fresh lumpia. It's been delivered. And because it's raining, that's why it's long like this. Yeah. How much were the lumpia? The lumpia is 20 pesos. A piece? Or for yeah. the whole? 20 pesos per lumpia. Per lumpia, is that a good price? It is a good price nowadays because there's no more... There is no more... Um, no more cheap. No more cheap nowadays. And what's the other one? Uh, I think it's called... I can't remember what's the name of it. <laughs> I can't remember, that's it's their special... Special tea? Yeah, it's it's special like a cake, tea, is it? It's, it's Cold. Hang on, I'll try to find it. it looks, Masarika? Masarika, it yeah, looks. It's called Masarika. Masarika. It's like a mince pie, a little bit. Yeah. So there we go, there's our wooden so, plate. Up there. And then you. Put So, uh, is this your first time? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> yes, it's my first time. <sighs> so, make sure you have you dip it in the sauce and then you try it. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. No, it's nice. It's very nice. It's... I need to try again. I can't really describe the taste. But the sauce is a little bit spicy. Maybe I put too much sauce. Mm. It's very delicious. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I like fresh lumpia. That's my favourite. Mm. It's really nice with sauce in it. Yeah. So this is more of a cake. Yeah. So let's go out one of these on the side. Oh. So we are. So it's in texture, it's like a pastry with sugar. There's a filling inside. pastry and a nice fruit filling. It is very nice, isn't it? Very nice. So it's raining here again today in the Philippines. Now what do we do when it's raining? How do we resist spending money? And part of that is we have our own gym, which we use regularly to keep in shape, but also it keeps us occupied, gives us something to do when we're at home on these rainy days, rather than going out and spending money. <music>
So I've just finished my workout, just had a shower, I'm gonna go outside now, stop raining. Jane's in the gym doing a bit of exercise. We do love having a gym in our house. So when we designed this house in the Philippines, one of the biggest things we know we definitely needed was a home gym. To keep fit, to save money, no excuse if it's in your own house. You can go in there as much as you want, whenever you want. No transport costs, no gym memberships. No excuse, really. So let's see how Jean's getting on. There she is, <laughs> dancing around. What's it like having a gym at home? It's good because we don't have to pay. No excuse, really, is there to not use it? No. <laughs> what are you doing, dips, tricep dips? Yes. Yeah. So Jean's getting back into fitness. It's hard going. But she's determined. We've added a squat rack recently. So we can do everything really. We have pretty much everything we need. And Jane's gonna show how many pull-ups she can do. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Maybe. This is my first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first attempt, okay? Let's see if I can do it. That's better than me. <laughs> okay. I've got a long way to go still. But it's nice to have a gym when it's raining outside. Even though rain seems to have stopped now. When it's raining outside, there's still plenty of things we can do at home. Never get bored. We don't have to go out and spend any money, do we? No. We can get fit at the same time. Yeah. And as you can probably hear, we have no fans on in this room. No air conditioning on in this room. Just literally the window's open at the moment and we've got a nice cool breeze coming in. So it's quite warm usually, but we don't really need air conditioning. It saves us a lot of money in our electricity. I'm sweating a little bit, I just had a shower. I always seem to sweat after exercise, even after a shower. I'll go outside and get some fresh air, I think. So we've added a few more solar lights out in the garden. There's one for our dirty kitchen, 150 watt, it comes on automatically. And we have these lights, these extra ones. These don't come on unless you turn them on, but you can change the level of brightness, make it flash if you want. These were the equivalent of four pounds each. We have two here, one there, and one above the sink. So we just have a bit more extra light if we're cooking outside. And they're absolutely free to run, solar power, solar energy. They charge up every day, even when it's raining. They're amazing. And they last for, surprisingly, a long time, all evening, all night even, right on until the next day. Starting to brighten up a little bit. The rain stopped finally, can go in the garden. So living in the Philippines, there's so much to see and do here. We haven't even begun yet, really. We have plans to travel all around the Philippines, but you can also stay at home and enjoy yourself. You don't need to go out always, don't need to spend money always. The temptation when you move to a new country is you want to see and do everything straight away. But take our time, we'll enjoy it. We don't work anymore, we don't have to rush around. We can just take our time, enjoy the slow pace of life here in the Philippines. So the cost of living definitely is going up, but as we shared in our budget, you don't need to have a fortune to live here. You can get by on a modest budget, a minimal budget. As long as you live like a local and not like a foreigner, don't try and do too much at once. Pace yourself, take your time, save money when you can. Be smart with what you spend. Your money will go a very, very long way here in the Philippines. So thank you for watching. Thank you always for your comments, your feedback and your advice from time to time. We do appreciate all of it always. We only hope tomorrow's a sunnier day so we can get out and do a few things in the garden. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to follow our journey here in the Philippines, if you like what you see, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when our next video's up and we'll catch you on the next one.